Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to configure rework production node type in SAP. So first, uh, let, let me explain the what what the rework order means. So hope you know about this one, but I'll explain a little bit. In generally, when we do the production, we have a set of raw materials and we open the production order. Okay, then we do some operations and we consume the raw material and ultimately we produce the finished good. Finally, we check the whether the quality is okay or not. Okay, so at that time, if, if you identify your quality is out, then the, with the experience of the production, they know by uh, doing some rework or by adding some extra materials or by doing uh, extra operations, so we can make this uh, quality up to good level. So for that reason, in SAP, we are going to create a rework production order. So once we create the rework production order, uh, we consume the extra raw materials that we consume or the extra operations. It means the machines, labor hours that we consume to this rework process. So this is a simple example. Okay, so in SAP, this is how you configure the uh, rework production order type. I have already configured a new one, so I will show you how you how how I did it. Okay, so you go to SPRO and IMG, and under production, okay, you go to uh, shop flow control, and here define order types. Okay. So here I have already defined a new one. If you want to create a new one, you can create a new one. Okay. So I'll show you the the one I that I have created already. If you want, you can create a new one by copying this copy as function by using this copy as function. Okay. So if I double click the, this one, this is the rework code type that I have created here. See, uh, the, these things are uh, similar with the normal standard production order type pp01 here i have used the separate settlement profile is that rw01 for rework coders okay so there is a reason to use a new settlement profile rather than using an existing settlement profile like this okay normally we use pp01 for production orders to configure this uh, rework settlement profile it's a uh, CEO consultant's job, but uh, I'll show you how to do that one later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I, I'll show that one now. Okay. So to configure the rework uh, settlement order type, you go to SPRO and under controlling, you go to internal orders. They are actual posting and the settlement under the settlement there is a tab called maintain settlement profile you click on that one and you go to second one here you can create a new entry and there is option to copy a existing entry and create a new one as well this is the rework code type that i have created already so if i double click on this one these are the settings here uh, I make this uh, order settlement optional and cost center GL like this way. This one not allowed, it, not allowed it. And material settlement also optional. Uh, like this way, I do the settings. Okay. And here, not for settlement. So there is a reason to do this one. Normally, we don't settle the river coders. So during the month end, we uh, separately analyze the set of rework orders with the reasons for creating the rework orders that's how we do the analysis part during the month end okay so in this way you create a settlement profile okay then i continue the uh, configuration of my order type first define order type is now done now you go to order type dependent parameters okay so you go to your plant and here so this is how I uh, configure the this order type and dependent parameters. Okay, for this plant and for this 
reviewer code type i maintain the entries so if you want to create a new one you can create by copying the existing one like this okay okay 3001 this one if i double click on this one see so there is no much difference uh, compared to the normal order type that we have configured previously okay and the next one this one and this one done now go to operation tab okay operation tab is uh, here under you are in the master data tab no no so you go to operation tab under that go to scheduling and define scheduling parameters for orders okay this is required if you do the capacity planning and uh, capacity planning okay so my order type and uh, rework order type is rw01 so my plant this is how i did the uh, scheduling parameters okay this depend uh, if you don't do the capacity requirement planning you don't need this stick okay maybe you don't need automatic scheduling okay so that part done now okay now go to confirmation then define confirmation parameters here also under for your order type and plant so if i double click this one i have maintained this parameters for order confirmation if if you didn't maintain this you can't do the confirmation for that reverb code okay mm. so these are the general entities normally i take all those uh, tick because uh, i need to monitor the errors that's okay uh, if you tick these things it will propose the quantities from order during the order confirmation okay so here normally uh, these are the uh, things these are the configuration step that you need to do the uh, do to configure the rework order type okay now i go to creation of order type mm, the t code is 007 here i give the plant i can make this uh, rework order type say so specific or not so i create it as say so specific and I give the sales order number and my item and I give the rework order my order type is RW01 now if I press enter see this order will create without a header material this is how the rework order will behave okay so you give the description a meaningful one rework for what out of quality and here give the quantity and the unit of measure let's say meters and give the start date the date that you need to start the operations so if you press this one this kind of information will come because uh, you know here there is no finished goods so it will not capture any master data so what you have to do is you have to uh, select this generate operation button okay don't worry about that one now go to operations and fill these things now select the work center that you need to use for this rework code type so double click can give the this time setup time labor time machine time anything you want is none now go back and go to component overview now give the components okay that you need to uh, consume to this rework material if you don't have any components if you need only to do the new operations you give the operation and save this order okay that's up to you right now i release this order and i save the order see now my order created now i go to co02 
and I enter this is my rework order okay so if we have done the configuration properly you should be able to create the rework order type like this here the header material is blank okay so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching my video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you